Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from solvable for y. So let's get going. Problem solve y equals to x plus p square minus 2p. Okay, so first law, firstly, let's see degrees of x, y and p. Okay, so here let's see the power of y. Here we are having power of y1 and power of x is 1 and here we have power of p 1 and 2, right? So degree of P or degree of equation in P, we call this equation as first degree in Y, first degree in X, right? We have power of X1 and power of Y1. So we can solve this equation using solvable for Y and also solvable for X as well, okay? Since we are having X power 1 and we don't have any other X, having powers higher than 1 and also we are having y power 1 and we don't have any other y having power raised to the power greater than 1 right so we call this equation of first degree in y or first degree in x okay and p has power 2 which is the highest power right p has highest power 2 so this is of second degree in p right Since it is of, we consider the given equation as 1. 1 is of first degree in y and in x as well. Right? And also, we can't factorize this equation. We can't factorize this equation and is of first degree in y or and also, right, and also first degree in x. So, we can solve this problem using solvable for y or solvable for x. Okay. So, here we are going to solve this using solvable for y. Now, coming to the solution. Given differential equation, y equals to x plus p square minus 2p, right? Since we can't factorize 1 and also dissolve first degree in y. So, we are going to use solvable for y method. Right? So, what we will do first? Firstly, we will differentiate on both sides with respect to x. equals to dy by dx equals to derivative of first term with respect to x plus derivative of second term with respect to x minus derivative of third term with respect to x. Right? We know that dy by dx is p since p equals to dy by dx. So, we will write this dy by dx as p equals to derivative of x with respect to x plus derivative of p square with respect to x is 2p. Derivative of p square is 2p into dp by dx minus we can write this as 2 into d by dx of Now this equation becomes p equals to derivative x with respect to x is 1 plus 2p into dp by dx minus 2 into d derivative of p with respect to x is dp by dx. Now 
Let's write this equation as, firstly I am writing the RHS part, 1 plus 2p into dp by dx, minus 2 into dp by dx, equals to the LHS part. Now, I will bring this p to LHS, I will get 1 plus 2p into dp by dx, minus 2 into dp by dx, minus p equals to 0. Now, let's factorize this equation, okay? So, I am going to write first terms involving, okay, terms does, uh, that does not involve P here, okay, as a quotient, okay, which does not involve P. I am not talking about dp by dx, I am just talking about the quotients, okay. 1 plus, sorry, 1 minus 2 into dp by dx plus 2p into dp by dx minus p. See, in this two, we are having p. But here, we don't have any p here. Okay? So, I wrote like this. Now, I will write minus p first plus the term involving p and dp by dx. Right? So, if you notice, in the next two terms, we are having P common, right? So, let's take minus P common from these two terms. If we take minus P common from these two terms, we'll get minus P times 1 minus 2 into dP by dx, right? Minus P times 1. We have taken minus common, right? But here we are having plus, so put minus since minus into minus is plus. Minus P into 1 is minus P. So, minus, we have already taken P common, right? So, we will get 2 into dP by dx. Now, let's take 1 minus 2 into dP by dx common from these two terms. Then, we will get 1 minus 2 into dP by dx into 1 minus P equals to 0, then we have factorized the given equation, right? Not the given equation, the derivative of given equation. So now, here, we can just write it as 1 minus p into 1 minus 2 into dp by dx equals to 0. Comes it as equation 2. From this, we'll get two equations. 1 minus p equals to 0. Equate each factor to 0. 1 and 1 minus 2 into dp by dx equals to 0. Consider this as equation 3 and this as equation 4. Now, discard the equation which does not have or which does not have dp by dx because it is going to result a singular equation, singular solution, sorry. Since equation 3 has, it sorry, it does not has dp by dx, right? So, we can discard this equation or we can use this equation but we are going to get a singular solution from this, okay? But here in the second solution, we are having dp by dx. So, definitely we are going to get general solution using equation 4. So, let's see now. Firstly, I'll show you the singular solution. So, here we are having 1 minus p equals to 0. Take it. 1 minus p equals to 0. From this, I'll get 1 equals to p or p equals to 1, right? Consider as Equation number 5. Okay. So, now we'll eliminate P from these two equations. From 5 and 1. So, what we'll do? We'll just substitute 5 in 1. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to write the equation 1. I'm going to write equation 1 firstly. 
and then I will substitute the value of P here. Since P equals to 1, then I will get Y equals to X plus 1 square is 1 minus 2 into 1 is 2, which gives Y equals to X minus 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Okay. It is a solution of the given equation, but it does not contains any arbitrary constants. Okay. It does not contains arbitrary constants and also the solution is not obtained by putting particular values to the arbitrary constants of or arbitrary constants in the general solution. So, we call this solution as singular solution. So, this is singular solution to a given problem. Okay. I'll just uh, I'll share the definitions of singular solution and general solution in the comment and also in the description. Okay. You can just go through the definitions. Therefore, y equals to x minus y is a singular solution. So, we got singular solution from 1 minus p equals to 0, right? Now, coming to equation 4. We are having equation 4. 1 minus 2 into dp by dx equals to 0. We can just write it as 1 equals to take this term to RHS. You will get 1 equals to 2 into dp by dx. Right? Now bring this dx to LHS. We will get dx equals to 2 into dp. Now let's integrate on both sides. We will get integral dx equals to integral 2 dp. Then integral dx equals to 2 integral dp. See, we can write plus c either of these two sides. Okay. So, I'll put here or you can write here. If you get minus c, then you can write it as plus c. Okay. You can change that constant according to your convenience. So, here we'll get x equals to 2p plus integral constant c. Now, Bring this c towards left, we'll get x minus c equals to 2p, right? Then we'll have, so we are having minus c since c being arbitrary constant, so we can write it as plus c equals to 2p. Then bring this 2 towards left, then we'll get x plus c by 2 equals to some p, right? We got p equals to x plus c by 2 or see what happens if we put c towards left I mean to LHS part I'll write this equation as 2 dp equals to dx okay now I'll integrate on both sides then I'll get 2 integral dp equals to integral dx then 2p equals to x plus integral constant c. Now, let's take this 2 to RHS. We will get p equals to x plus c by 2. We will get the same thing. Right? Now, what we have to do? We got p equals to x plus c by 2. Since we got, uh, from this we got one more equation, right? Uh, we have named it as equation 5. So, that, uh, this will be equation 6. Now, what we will do? We will eliminate p from 6 and 1. Simply we will substitute this P in 1. Now, substitute P equals to X plus C by 2 in equation 1. We have equation 1, y equals to x plus 
p square minus 2p. Now we are going to replace p by x plus c by 2. Is equals to then y equals to x plus replace p by x plus c by 2. Here 2 gets cancelled. Right? Then y equals to x plus we can write x plus c by 2 whole square as x plus c whole square by 2 square minus of x plus c. Then y equals to x plus expand x plus c whole square using a plus b whole square expansion. We will get x square plus c square plus 2cx by 2 pass 2 square as 4 minus of x plus c can be written as minus x minus c. Now this plus x and minus x gets cancelled and we will get y equals to x square plus c square plus 2cx by 4 minus c. The next step we will take the LCM of 4 and 1 which is 4 right. We will take the LCM. This becomes y equals to x square plus c square plus 2cx minus 4 into c, 4c, right? In the next step, take this 4 to LHS. We'll just bring this 4 to LHS. Then we'll get 4y equals to x square plus c square plus 2cx minus 4c. Now, bring this minus 4c to LHS. We'll get 4y minus 4c equals to x square plus c square plus 2cx. Then, if you notice, we are having 4 common in the two terms of LHS. So, let's take 4 common. We'll get 4 times y minus c equals to. Now, write this expansion as x plus c whole square because it looks good, right? Or you can just write x square plus c square plus 2cx also. See, what we brought minus 4c to LHS, so it becomes plus 4c, so you'll get plus here, right? Which is the general solution to the given equation. See, we, have, we are having arbitrary constants also. Which is the general solution of the given differential equation. We got singular solution y equals to x minus 1 and general solution is 4 into y plus c equals to x plus c whole square. This completes the problem. We will write in detail. Therefore, 4 into y plus c equals to x plus c whole square is the general solution. of 1. Right? This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable for y in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.